Hi, and welcome to Aptella. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure a Linksys 2102 analog telephone adapter so you can use a regular analog telephone or fax machine with the Aptella system. Before we get started, let's make sure you have all the right equipment. You'll need a Linksys SPA 2102 adapter, a 5 volt DC power supply, this should come with your Linksys ATA, a phone cable, an Ethernet cable, and an analog touchstone phone or fax machine. You'll also need an active internet connection and a computer for the online steps. It's a good idea to keep a pen and paper handy as well. If you're installing a fax machine and you haven't set up your fax user yet, refer to the knowledge base at www.aptela.com forward slash KB for instructions. Let's start by visiting your Aptela account online. Navigate to www.aptela.com and click on My Account. Log into your account as the operator, then go to the People tab and find the name of the user you wish to associate with your analog phone or fax. If you haven't created the user yet, click on New User and set up the entry as normal. Remember, if you're setting up a fax machine, the Aptela username must begin with the letters FAX. Otherwise, just click on the existing user's name. In the window that appears, scroll down to the heading marked VoIP Settings and click on it to expose its contents. Click on the Launch Phone Tool link and then click Configure Phone under Phone 1 Primary Phone. Take a look at the bottom side of your Linksys ATA adapter and note the MAC address. It's located below the serial number and consists of 12 numbers and letters starting with 000E. This number will identify the ATA to Aptela. Once you've found it, type it into the MAC address field and then click the Next button at the bottom of the window. Then click Close. Back on the main application window, click the Settings tab, then the About tab. If you're logged in as the operator, you'll see an FTP username and password. Write these values down as you'll need them later on. Now that we've prepared Aptela for your hardware, let's prepare your hardware for Aptela. Take your telephone cable and connect one end to your phone or fax. If your fax machine doesn't have a touchstone handset, you'll need to use a regular analog phone for this step. Plug the other end of the cable into the Phone 1 jack on your ATA. The jack is outlined in green. Now, take your Ethernet cable and connect one end into the Internet jack on your ATA. It's outlined in blue. Plug the other end of this cable into your router, wall, or any active Ethernet port. If your computer can connect to the Internet through this port, it should be suitable for your ATA device, too. Finally, connect the power supply to the ATA and plug it into an available outlet. The lights on the front of the device should flicker. Now we're going to reset the device to its factory default state. To do so, pick up the analog handset you connected earlier and press the star key four times. This will activate the adapter's menu. Press 73738, followed by the pound key. When you hear the response, press 1 and the pound key again to confirm. When you hang up, the device will reset. Pick up the handset again, dial four stars and enter 7932, followed by the pound sign. Hit 1 pound, then 1 to save. That will enable one access to the device. Now enter 723646 pound, then 1 pound, and 1 to save. This will enable access to the online administration menu via your web browser. Get your pen and paper ready and dial 110 pound. The system will read you an IP address. Write it down. You'll need it in a moment. Head back to your web browser and enter the IP address you just wrote down into the address bar, then hit Enter. You should now be at the ATA administration screen. Click the Admin Login button and then click the Voice tab. Now click Advanced and select the Provisioning option. Make sure Provisioning is enabled and then set the Resync Periodic and Resync Error Retry Delay fields to 10. Lastly, you'll need to create your unique profile rule, which will allow the adapter to pull configuration files from Aptela's servers. Take the FTP username and FTP password you wrote down earlier and link them together into a single number. Now, type the rule into the profile rule box in the format described in the knowledge base. If you're using a fax machine, replace the word phone with fax. Now, scroll down and press Submit All Changes. The device will reset. As a final check, unplug the Linksys adapter, wait 10 seconds, and plug it back in. You should now be able to pick up the handset and hear a normal dial tone. Congratulations! Your ATA is connecting your phone or fax machine with Aptella.